Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. So today I have a long awaited cleaning video. I know you guys love cleaning motivation, so that is exactly what I have for you guys. I planned on doing more, but I ran out of time just because while I was cleaning, I found so many things that I wanted to clean and it was just, it took longer than expected. So I will have another one coming soon because I wanted to also film cleaning our bathroom and our bedroom. It's a total disaster. So that will be coming soon, but thanks for stopping by. Make sure you click the subscribe button while you're here so you don't miss any future videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get into this ridiculously dirty house. It's It was insane. My kids think it's cool to just like throw food and step on it and smash it up. So there's that. But I hope you guys enjoy and get a lot of motivation from this video. I shiver inside Doesn't show But my nerves are inside out It's because You're not worth less than perfection Ooh, thought it was in my hands Now I'm So the first thing I wanted to do was get all of the jackets and backpacks off of this fireplace. Um, my kids had stayed a few days with their Nana, my mother-in-law. So we got home and had just thrown everything on the fireplace. That's kind of like our catch-all. So I wanted to clean that up first and just get that put up because that's like the main part of the house. And I just feel like I don't know. Once I cleaned that up, it felt like the living room was 50% cleaner, even though there was still so much stuff on this rug, you guys will see. And it just, it, it was, it was a disaster. I can't believe my kids it, literally last night, like the night before I filmed this, uh, my two year old that's over there sitting on the couch, he threw cheese its and then it, they got stepped on. So it just looks like we have no sense in this house. I did not realize how dirty this glass pitcher was, whatever you want to call it, until I cleaned it for the first time since I bought it. And I bought it literally probably like two years ago. Just my kids eat snacks here and watch TV sometimes. So they're little sticky fingers and my two year old likes to rearrange the flowers. So once I cleaned it, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like so much brighter and cleaner. So that was amazing. Just cleaning it with, with like glass cleaner did wonders. So I don't know why I put that off, but um, once I got that glass cleaner out, I went crazy, cleaned all the windows and it just, I don't know. It was gloomy outside and when I cleaned the windows with the glass cleaner, it just felt like it got brighter and clearer. 
maybe it's just a mental thing i don't know but i got everything up off the rug and brought the vacuum in and my two-year-old is petrified of the vacuum he has gotten better like he used to make me carry him when i would vacuum and now he is good with like sitting on the couch and hiding under the covers but he would literally like tremble when i would bring out the vacuum so baby steps So I wish I would have shown a close up, but yes, I vacuum our coffee table. It's made of like reclaimed wood. And so it, there's no way to clean it. Like you can't wipe it with a rag. It's, it's very rigid and it like splinters if you rub it really hard. So I always get the vacuum and clean all the little cr like creases and the little um, like grooves, all that. I have to get the vacuum and clean out all the crumbs because there's no way I can just wipe it up. But I went ahead and also t went through the dank shoes. My kids are usually the ones that are bad, but obviously you can see um, most of the shoes were mine. So I went ahead and uh, put them all to the side, the ones that needed to go in our room and the ones that needed to go in the girls' room. Um, we're really bad about kicking our shoes off right here, which is totally what it's for, but then they end up piling up and then dirt builds up. So I wanted to clean all those up so I could vacuum and just get all that clutter out from in front of the main door that we come in so i'm a judge While I'm folding the laundry, I'm going to go ahead and take this time to introduce myself if you guys are new to my channel. So my name is Megan. I have four kiddos and I am married. Me and my husband have been married for 10 years. All this info is always in the description box, but we live in Texas and my channel is mainly vlogs, but I do love to post cleaning videos because I love to watch cleaning videos and a lot of you guys love to watch cleaning videos too. So yeah, um, I am almost 32. My birthday is coming up in a few days and I, I cannot believe it, but on my channel, yeah, we post vlogs mainly, but, um, I do have cleaning videos. If you guys ever have any video requests, you can always leave them in the comments. Um, I would love if you subscribed. I would also love if you comment down below, if you're new and introduce yourself. Also, I'd love if you commented and told me what your least favorite chore is. Mine is laundry, but it's a hard like a really close tie between laundry and dishes because we don't have a dishwasher. I really miss having a dishwasher. So 
when the dishes pile up like they are in this video i really 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 am missing my dishwasher but i feel like laundry is just everyone's most hated because it is literally never ending like you can finish a load of laundry and one second later you'll find a sock somewhere or some some laundry piece somewhere so it's never 100 percent done but yeah that's all about me and we'll go ahead and get back into cleaning the dining room i don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world that we're living in oh baby you are something special i'm sure everything makes total sense when you're next to me So I went ahead and did a close-up of these coasters because I wanted you guys to see why I was wiping them down because from far away you can't see all the little sticky stuff and all the fuzz and the dust. So I always have to wipe these down like once a month, everything on this little centerpiece because it just collects dust and my kids sit here and my, my two-year-old likes to pick up the stuff and play with it. Um, so there's always like food and just random things. So I always have to wipe it down every now and then just to get all the dust off. Even if I told you I could never let you go I'm not so sure you believe me But if I mean to show you I will never let you go No Cause you don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby you are Something special I'm sure Everything makes total sense When you're next to me Like lemonade, we both know it's better 
So I'm not going to start washing the dishes yet, but I did want to wash this cookie jar. Um, every time I'm going to refill it with new fresh cookies, um, I like to wash it just to get it clean because my kids pull it and push it and pull it and push it throughout the week to get cookies out. So there's little fingerprints and, you know, the same thing, sticky hands, all that stuff. So I like to wash it and just make it look clean. And then we always fill it with Oreos and Chips Ahoy because those are our two favorite cookies. But um, yeah, I do go ahead. It's just like a personal thing that I like to do, but I like to arrange the cookies all pretty. And then my kids don't ever want to get in there and dig them out because they're like, it's going to mess it up. But there were some broken ones. So Cam got to uh, score on some cookies. Cam is my two year old, if you didn't know. But um, yeah, I really always love how this looks and how it turns out. And um, when my kids came home, they're like, oh my gosh, this is just so satisfying. You know, it's that era where everything is satisfying or um, aesthetically pleasing. But I really love doing this, even though it takes a little bit, but I always like how it comes out. Then once to show you my intention, my brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I person who understands all the clockwork of our romance you make me feel so alive always there in my mind but i just don't know i just don't know if i'll dance with the lights on if you're gonna be moving on solo wait a second cause they're playing the best song i'll be there Hope you guys are feeling really motivated by this video so far we are about halfway through as you can probably already see from your little timeline on the bottom of the video but we had so many dishes and it really wasn't that much it was a lot of big stuff and there's no plates because I'm a huge fan of paper plates we got four kids they're constantly snacking and just paper plates are the best thing ever and then we do have plastic silverware but um, we only have forks, we only have plastic forks. So the only thing that was really in here was cups, which make, like they fill up the sink so quick. Um, my kids like need a new cup for every single drink. And I usually try to put them on the counter so that they can reuse the same cup throughout. But this was a weekday, so um, my kids were at school. We didn't need any cups out. The only one that I left out was that sippy cup, which is my two year olds. And then, um, I drink from a bottle of water all day, so I don't really use cups, but this uh, is from a few nights of cooking dinner and it just, it was just piling up and I'm so busy with uh, cheerleading. If you didn't know, I cheer or I'm a cheer coach, so I'm gone every evening and then during the day I, so since he like, I'm, I'm talking to people and I also have a team, so I'm talking to them so I don't really get much time to sit and do dishes like this so they pile up and so today was the day that I had to tackle them all and every time it gets this full I swear to myself I'm not gonna let it get this full but I do so there's that but I did not record the whole the whole 
thing of me washing dishes because this video would have been so long. Um, I went ahead and charged my battery while I did some of it so that I could have more battery because it did die twice filming this video. I need to get another battery so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I always watch YouTube while I um, wash dishes. It makes it go by quicker. I like to watch The Sims. I like to play The Sims. If you guys like to play The Sims, let me know. It's like my guilty pleasure. I started playing it when it very first came out, the very first one. I think I was like in seventh grade and I played it on the very first PlayStation. So I stopped playing for a very long time and I started playing again probably three years ago. So I really like watching it. I like watching people build houses on there and I like to watch Let's Plays. But the dishes are done, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy some more cleaning music and yeah.
Now that everything is wiped down, I wanted to do one more sweep. I already swept in here, but I wanted to just go through one more time and get the little crumbs that had fallen off of the stove and off the counters when I wiped them down because I was about to mop. Uh, I hate when I'm mopping and there's just like little dirt. And I do still find stuff when I mop because my mop gets in places that my broom doesn't. And um, yeah, I just pick those up as I go and throw them in the trash, but I wanted to do one last sweep before I went ahead and mopped. Um, I did get a new broom, if you didn't notice. I used to have the same um, broom as my mop brand, but it just like randomly broke my mop. I mean, my broom handle broke off of the base like randomly one day and I, I was so sad. But this new broom, the dustpan is like magic. You don't have to push down hard so that dirt goes underneath. It's just, I love it. And um, yeah, the brand of mop that I have or the type of mop I have is the O-Cedar mop. I seen this in so many cleaning videos and I finally went ahead and got one or I think my mom actually bought it for me uh, over a year ago, I wanna say, maybe two years ago, I don't know. But I love it so much because I love to mop with super, 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 super hot water. And when I would try to wring out a regular mop, it would burn my hands. So this one has like a little spin on it. It's amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Cannot recommend it enough. And um, yeah, that is what I'm using. Sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down and
I don't know if y'all are ready for this, but this mop water was so disgusting, but I wanted to rinse my mop off first before I emptied the mop and go ahead and pop it off of the handle. I, I love that about this mop as well because you can wash the mop head, but look at this water, you guys. It had been way, way too long since I mopped and um the mop head is like microfiber and i put it outside to dry one day uh, i always hang it up after i mop to dry and leaves blew and got stuck all in it so i was like putting off cleaning all the leaves out so that's why we put it off but now that i emptied my mop bucket i'm gonna go ahead and use barkeeper's friend i love this so much it gets out the little tiny rust spots sometimes when i leave a cookie sheet in the sink too long it'll leave a little mark but this gets it right out i am not a fan of the smell it's not horrible i just i i, I don't like it but um yeah i'm gonna clean out my sink and we are just about done <laughs> done with just the main living area i did go ahead and mop the hallways as well but i didn't film it um i wanted to also film cleaning like i said my bedroom and bathroom and all that because that's a, a huge disaster too but i'm gonna save that for another day so make sure you guys subscribe so you are around when that goes live it should be uh, probably in about a week I'll post that one just so I can spread out these cleaning videos. Look how clean my stove is, you guys. That counter clean and that uh, barkeeper's friend combo is like super, super powers. Um, but yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some motivation from it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would love if you subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody. Let's talk. Are you at the avenue? I don't need nobody else but me. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I just need time right now. I'm going alone tonight. I don't need nobody else but me. But I'm thinking of the way you, the way you make me cry.